Yo, what is going on everybody? So hey, that's the game. Hope you have a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys another really good coin making method to do. Now, this coin making method is a low risk, high reward coin making method. So do this at your own risk because you guys can lose coins. But worst case scenario, you guys are only going to lose around five to 10,000 coins at the very most. Best case scenario, you guys can gain anywhere between 40 to 50,000 coins. But please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload because I do upload coin making method video every single day also please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on youtube also i am currently giving away this 99 overall walter payton so right now there's no way to enter so how this giveaway is going to work is once i reach 1750 subs i will be putting them on the trade block for four days and then once three days have gone by i will be accepting a random trade offer so pretty much right now there's no way to enter the giveaway but once i reach 1750 subscribers i will give you guys more info on how to enter the giveaway but i just wanted to let you guys know i am currently running giveaway so here are his stats he's probably the best running back besides the golden tickets obviously so 96 speed 97 acceleration great stats i'm thinking about getting him for my team just because i love those stats i might be getting golden ticket bo jackson but if i cannot afford bo jackson then i might be getting this walter payton he do also does come with human joystick if you guys power him up so he's definitely one of the best running backs in the game also shout out to tmt minion for being part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to be shouted out all you guys have to do is subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever i upload and comment noti gang within the first two minutes of a new upload and you guys also have to like that video and i'll pick somebody random to shout out that does all of that so shout out to tmt minion for being part of the noti gang so the method we'll be talking about today will be these team of the year sets. Now between team of the year offense and team of the year defense, it changes every time I check on the auction house. So right now team of the year offense is better than team of the year defense. So you guys always want to check the auction house to see which set is more profitable. But right now team of the year offensive is. So in this video we'll be doing the team of the year offense set and the team of the year specialist set. So we'll talk about team of the year specialist first. So to complete this set you guys need 387 overalls and 89 and 291 overalls. Let's see who you guys can pull. Also, I forgot to mention, I'll just throw this in the video somewhere, but whoever you guys pull, just wait until very late at night or very early in the morning to sell them because usually that's when prices are at the most expensive. So do not sell your cards anywhere between noon or four o'clock because that's usually when prices are, you know, at the cheapest. So wait till either very late at night or very early in the morning to sell the cards you guys pull from this method. So that way you guys can make maximum profit. So here are the players you guys can pull. So it probably costs around 40 to 45k to finish the set. So right now there's basically no risk. Worst case scenario, you guys might lose 5,000 coins. Best case scenario, you guys can gain probably anywhere between 20 to 40,000 coins. If you guys pull the punter, you guys can gain anywhere between probably 15,000 coins to 10,000 coins. If you guys pull the fullback, you guys are gaining about 20,000 coins. And if you guys pull the kicker, you guys are making about 30 to 40,000 coins. So the Mikkel Hardman, fullback, kicker, and punter are the best polls you guys can get. So if you guys pull any of them, you guys are going to make about 15,000 coin plus profit. So there are four players you guys can pull that will gain you guys profit, which is pretty good. So you have probably about a 50% chance to make profit slash to lose profit. So now I'm going to show you guys how to snipe each player to finish the set for as cheap as possible. If you guys don't want to go through the sniping tutorial, you guys can go to the timestamp right there. But if you guys want to know how to snipe these players for really cheap, then you guys can continue watching. So usually I like to snipe these 91 overalls for around 12 to probably 14,000 coins. Coins. So let's see if we can find these for around 12 to 14,000 points. We'll go to all offense and see if we can find any in the offensive section. So all offense. And it doesn't look like it. Now let's go to all defense and see if we can find anything in all defense. I just usually do this with every single filter. That's good. So once I'm done with legends, then I go to flashbacks. And then once I'm done with flashbacks, I go to heavyweights and then veterans and then ultimate legends. And then you guys get it. So, looks like we're not finding any for, I want to usually try to snipe these for around 14,000 coins. So let's see if we can find these for around 14,000 coins. Let's go to all offense and see if we can find any good ones. So, 15,000 coins, and uh, I don't really want to pay 15,000 coins. Here, let's go to heavyweights and see if we can find any good ones in the heavyweight section. Man, there are like no good 91 overalls to snipe right now. Here, let's go to all defense and see if we can find any good ones. So, all defense. Mario Addison for about 14,000 coins. We will snipe that. So if you guys are patient enough, you guys can find these for around the price you guys want to snipe them at. So usually it takes me about 5 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to finish these sets. So it doesn't usually take me that long to finish these sets. So once I usually find these for cheap, you guys want to make sure you guys get them as quick as possible. So 
15,000 coins, like I said, I don't really want to pay 15,000 coins. So now let's go to veterans and see if we can have any good luck with the veteran section. 12,000 coins, that's a big W right there. Wow, it's been on the auction house for 10 minutes and nobody's bought it. So 12,000 coins, that is definitely a big W right there. So we'll add up at the end how many coins we spent in total. So team of the year specialist. Now we just need an 89 and two 87s. So let's go to the 88 to 89s and see if we can find any good ones. So 89, you guys usually want to snipe these for around probably seven to 8,000 coins. So 9,000 coins, I don't really want to snipe it for 9,000 coins. Let's see if there's any in the offensive section. Once again, 9,000 coins. So we'll go back around. Let's go to the legend section, see if we have any luck in the legend section. And it doesn't look like it. So we'll go to all defense. See if we can find one for around 8,000 coins, maybe. So all defense. I don't see any good 89 overalls. 8,600 coins. Eh. Yeah, let's go to flashbacks and see if we can find any good ones in flashbacks. So 8,400 coins. You know what? We'll just buy this for the sake of the video. We're just going to buy this so that way I can get this video out faster. So we'll just buy it for 8,400 coins. And then we'll put them into the team of the year specialist pack. Now all we need is 387 overalls and then we can finish the set. So my favorite filter to send these 87 overalls are on theme builder 2. So 86, 87 and then program theme builder 2. And then you guys usually want to try to snipe these for around 3,000 coins. Theme Builder 2s and Legends are my favorite filter. So looks like these are going about 3,600. So it looks like these have actually gone up in price a little bit. Let's go to Legends and see if we can find any good ones in the Legends tab. So usually you guys can find some decently cheap 87 overalls. So let's go to All Offense and see if we can find any good ones in the Offensive section. Any good 87 overalls to snipe. And it actually doesn't look like it. Alright, so it looks like 87 overalls have gone up in price a little bit, but it's not too much. So we'll just buy these for, alright, so 2400 coins. That's a great snap right there. If you guys can find these 87 overalls for under 3000 coins, you want to make sure you guys get it right away. So 2400 coins is definitely not bad at all. 3300 coins, once again, not too bad. So I would say snipe the 87 overalls for about 3500 coins or less. So now we'll buy this 87 overall for about 3,500 coins. And then there we go, we finished the set for, I don't know how many coins we spent. So we'll add up how many coins after we put them into the set right here. So we should get the pack and all right, we didn't. So hold on, I'll be back. All right, so there we go. Now we got the pack. So now let's add up how much we spent in total. Like I said, the average amount is usually 40 to 45,000 coins. So I'm guessing that's around the range we spent. So let's go to my bids and see how much we spent in total. All right, so we spent about 14,000 on him, about 12,000 on him. So we'll just say that adds up to about 27,000 plus another 8,000, that's about 35,000 plus another 2,400, so that's about 37,000, 40,000, so about 43,000 coins. So yeah, about 43,000 coins is what we spent. Like I said, you guys usually finish it between the 40 and 45,000 coin range. So we spent about 43,000 coins. Hopefully we can get the kicker, the punter, the fullback, or McCole Hardman, and we pull Okay, that is a pretty bad pull, so that is not one of the good ones, so we did not get lucky right there. I think we might have lost a little bit of profit. That is kind of disappointing, so let's see how many coins he goes for. So he goes for about, yeah, 50,000 coins, which isn't bad, but still... Dang it, man. I really wish you could have pulled the kicker, the punter, or the fullback. Let me know who you guys pull. Hopefully, you guys get luckier than I did. But anyways, that is the team of the year specialist. Now, let's talk about team of the year defense. So, sorry, I meant team of the year offense. So, between these three sets, this team of the year specialist is probably the safest one. And team of the year offense and defense is kind of risky, but it's still not that risky. Worst case scenario, you guys will only lose around five to 10,000 coins. With team of the year specialist, worst case scenario, you guys will only lose around 5,000 coins. But with team of the year offense and defense, you guys can make a lot more coins than you guys can do with team of the year specialist. So, it's your choice whether you guys want to play it safe or whether you guys want to play it a little more, more risky. So, if you guys want to play it a little bit more risky and do team of the year offense or defense, now I recommend you guys go on to the auction house and decide which side is more profitable, whether team that your defensive pack is more profitable or team that your offense. Like I said, it changes every time I check the auction house. So right now, team that your offense is more profitable. So now we're gonna be doing team that your offense. So we need a 93, 291, an 89, and an 87. Let's see who you guys can pull. 
So it usually costs around 50 to 60,000 coins to finish these sets. So if you guys pull the worst player, like I said, you guys are going to lose about 10,000 coins at the very worst. So these are the players you guys don't really want to pull. Anybody above 65k is going to make you guys a decent amount of profit. So DeAndre Hopkins, Russell Wilson is a great one to pull. Zach Martin and George Kittle are the two best pulls to pull. So if you guys pull George Kittle, you guys are making about 30k worth of profit. And if you guys pull Zach Martin, you guys are going to make about 20k worth of profit or 20 to 30k worth of profit. So right now, it seems like Team of the Year Specialist is the way to go. So right now, I would recommend you guys do Team of the Year Specialist because Team of the Year Offense is a little bit more risky and it looks like it rewards just as much as Team of the Year Specialist. So I would say do Team of the Year Specialist right now, but we're going to do Team of the Year Offense for those of you who want to do Team of the Year Offense. So for 93 overalls, my favorite filter are Theme Bowler 2s and NFL Draft Picks. So we're going to check the NFL Draft Picks because usually they're just a little bit cheaper than Theme Builder 2s. So you guys want to snipe these for around 18,000 coins. Let's see if we can find these for 18,000 coins. 15,000 coins. That's a big snipe right there. Alright, so we were actually able to get a 93 overall for 15,000 coins. That is a huge snipe right there. So now we're going to put them into the Team of the Year Offensive set. So now all we need is two 91s and an 89, and I'm pretty sure an 87, and then we're done. All right, so two 91s. So once again, you guys want to snipe these for around 14,000 coins. So let's go to Legends and see if we can find any good ones in the Legends section once again. So all offense. And all right, so you know what? I already showed you guys how to snipe the 91s, the 89s, and the 87s. So I'm not gonna bore you guys sniping them again. So I'll just see you guys once I finish the set because you guys already know how to snipe the 91s, the 89s, and the 87s. So I'll just see you guys after I snipe these players. All right, so there we go. We got our pack. Now let's see how many coins we spent in total. So once again, let's go to my bids and then add up everything that we spent. So starting with the 93 so we spent about 15k plus another we'll just say 15k so that's about 30k another 13k so that's about 43k that's about 51k and that's about 53k so yeah we spent about 53k which is actually pretty cheap so hopefully we can pull something good from the set we're looking for zach martin george kittle or russell wilson give me one of those three players please give me one of those three players and we pull ryan jensen that i think is a pretty decent poll so i don't know also i forgot to mention this before but be sure to sell your players either very early in the morning or very late at night because that's when prices are at the most expensive so we're gonna go to newest and see how many coins we made in total so ryan jensen goes for about sixty thousand coins all right so we spent so we made about a 10k profit which isn't bad but i wish we could have made a little bit more but that's how you guys do the team of the year method just test your luck out you usually you guys don't lose that many coins and if you guys get lucky and pull somebody good from these packs then you guys can make a ton of coins but that's how you guys do this method if you guys have enjoyed this video please do subscribe and press the bell down in the, the, the please subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever i upload because i do upload a coin making method video every single day also please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on youtube thank you guys for watching i'm the hands the gamer look out there your heart my strength and to love your neighbors as yourself god bless wash hands stay home stay safe peace